Hello and welcome back to Borderlands 2. In this part 33, we are going to reunite with our friends. After being separated by an insane time warp, sending Sanctuary into the sky. It wasn't a time warp, it was just a space warp. Oh, this is so frustrating. You see, this is what I don't get about you bad guys. You know the hero's gonna win, but you just This is one of my favorites. Quickly. Man, uh, example. This one guy in New Haven, right? City's burning, people are dying left and right, yada yada yada. This jackal rushes me with a spoon. A spoon. <laughs> a, a freaking spoon, and I'm dying laughing, right? So I scoop out his stupid little eyeballs with it, and his kids are all, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he can't see where he's going, he's bumping into stuff, and I. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know, maybe you had to be there. The moral is, you're a total bitch. Oh, come on, Jack, that wasn't necessary. You know what else is not necessary? Ball sacks. The fact that this loot is not available to us. Also, oh, now it's available yes. to us. Huh. Aha. I have revealed details by which other players may gain wisdom. Cool. I think that was it, though, just two weapons. But, yeah. Just two guns. We are okay. on our way to overlook right, so, now. <laughs> um, um, okay, so we're in the Highlands, and the Highlands is actually infested almost entirely by uh, insect uh, by insectoids, uh, specifically stalkers, and my least favorite enemy type in the game, Threshers. Yeah. I dislike Threshers. Threshers, I... Mostly because the first... Uh, the first uh, encounter that I had with a Thresher, uh, the gluttonous one, took me like seven fucking attempts to t kill it because I couldn't, because uh, I didn't understand that the additional tentacles that I couldn't see were uh, were the actual uh, weak spots for it. Right, and also that the gluttonous Thresher also has a shield by the artificial shield provided by the control core it swallows, or the the signal beacon. What the 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 MacGuffin. The MacGuffin gave it the powers. It's always the MacGuffin. Yes. Mm. Alright, so, as of now, I have officially finished my own, my own first playthrough of Borderlands 2, and I have to say, although I, most, although I mostly enjoyed a, good, a, a, a large portion of my playthrough, I honestly do not think it's as good a looter shooter as other people have tried to convince me that it is it's fun the writing is fucking brilliant and a lot of the and a lot of the weapon types that you're that you're that you end up using are really damn uh, fun to play with however if you did what i did which was stupidly attempt to go through the uh, the story and in just uh just go through the story cloud that's not how you fight the warloaders come on no you just aggro <laughs> aggro you don't use shotguns on more loaders. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. But uh. But as as I was mentioning, although I although I oh, victory no, sure, fire okay. in the air. <laughs> okay. But although I enjoyed a, a large uh, majority of my playthrough with Borderlands 2, I don't think it's actually as good a looter shooter as a lot of people wanted me to believe it is. Especially when you consider the fact. <coughs> That it really, really wants you to do side quests that it that don't really have the uh, the best uh, reward or structure for your character. I ended up just tr trying to rush my way through the campaign, and I was under leveled the entire time. I ended the game after killing uh, after killing Handsome Jack at 30. As in the quest, the, the quest to complete. When I completed the quest before killing Handsome Jack, I leveled up to 30. Yeah, and that's fine because at least you know the enemies that you needed to kill in the name of of game completion were at least within your target level range, so that you were not trying to kill a skull and crossbones enemy. Oh no, they weren't. A majority of the enemies that I fought d uh, during. Uh, during that segment, we're level 32. So yes, a majority of the enemies that I fought during the uh, final gauntlet were skull and crossbones. No, but not. No, but the difference has to be three or more in order to have skull and crossbones. And they were, because I, uh, because I spent most of the most of the final, uh, 
I spent most a majority of the uh, the gauntlet going up to uh, going up to Handsome Jack at 28. Uh, after the gauntlet, where uh, where Mordecai and Brick ended up abandoning me because I left them behind to deal some units, I was 29, and then I was 29 for the final fight, and I leveled up to 30 after the fight. Oh shit! So you kill you kill the final boss. It's called the crossbones mode. Yes. Damn, sir. He was 32 and I was 29. Well, it just goes to show that this game is on the uh, easier side, for one thing, and also that depending on your luck and your willingness to go and do a bunch of ridiculous shit at times, that you will get the properly rewarded guns that have the power you need in order to win the game. Although, I, I mostly disagree with that particular statement because... Okay, the big issue that I have with just rushing through the main story is when you get to segments like this, where you're just, you're fighting, just fighting Hyperion robots the entire time. And Hyperion robots do not function the same as any other enemy type in the game. All the other enemy types have pretty obvious uh, weak spots that you need, that you can take advantage of in order to score critical damage on. But the loaders and the robots specifically, well, they don't. Like the for the gun loaders and all and a majority of the other uh, loader types, you have to actually shoot off the connecting parts of their limbs in order to score critical damage or the uh, eye in the center. Right. And that can be a real pain in the ass for the majority of the weapon types, specifically shotguns. Shotguns are great, but they're not good against the robots. And it's it's really weird because uh, they should be really good. You see, you, you hit for a, a 1,400 damage there, but only about two of your shells hit the eye. Right, because of the spread shot. Uh, I agree that shotguns are yep. not... You, you know where you know where you really get a, a taste of how terrible shotguns are at getting critical damage is when you're doing the circles of slaughter, and they require you to get kills with critical hits. However, if any of your bullets hit a non-critical hit area, even if you do get successfully get a headshot, it will not count it as a critical hit death. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, because a shotgun, a shotgun damage is spread all, th all, all throughout the model. As opposed, don't shoot the shields. I am trying Those are bullet reflecting to kill shields, and they're introduced monsters. here. Well, they're not actually introduced here. Uh, the constructor, the, the constructor uh, that warden was actually had a bullet uh, reflecting shield, and it was annoying as, as shit. But you didn't have to really deal with it during the second fight. So those bullet deflecting uh, shields yeah. are the worst. I don't think that they're honestly the worst. You just have to remember that they're there and what they do. What they do is deny you. Darn it. The lunar engineers denied our request. And Angel proceeds to coerce them by shutting off their oxygen supply. Yeah. And this is the part of this particular fight that was bullshit for a majority of my run. Because I was running on... Uh, Levels in this game are not honestly all that important, but what they do get, but what they do give you is the particular steroid of having at level uh, equipment. And if you do not have at level equipment, you're gonna be mostly hosed, specifically against constructors. Ah, uh, constructors! May we forever fart on uh, you, fat asses. This thing probably kills me. Now, um, or um. Only because you're not actually using your shotgun on its eye like you're supposed to. Like so. Well, here's how you fight constructors. Wait for them to see if they're going to do an area of effect attack. If they're doing an area of effect attack, they're not doing A, they're not doing anything else, and B, all you have to do is just back away from the range of effect just in time for the just in time for the fire shield to, uh, what's the fire shield, fire wave to, to uh, dissipate. And also, please note that you can repair the beacon as many times as needed as long as you're still killing robots and you do repair it regularly. You cannot fail this mission. Yeah. Right. And I like that part about this mission, given the fact that I died on it five <laughs> fucking times. Dude, you think, you yeah. think five is bad? <laughs> oh man, I sucked at some parts. I don't think I ever died more than seven times on any particular on, on any particular part, and that was the uh, the final. Uh, no, actually, it wasn't the final fight because I think I only died four times against the final uh, final fight. But um, the 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 fights that I remember dying the most were against uh, the rematch of Warden and the Gluttonous Thresher. I hated that Gluttonous Thresher fight. 
the hardest times I had in this game, honestly, were also the times when I did not have the option to respawn. The circle, if you die during the circle of slaughter, you have to start the whole thing all over again because the respawn, because the respawn generator is placed outside the arena. Okay. They're launching the fast travel station now. Nothing gets results like a death threat. Also, do not go into melee range against the hot loaders because they actually have a they actually have a, a fiery explosion Explode. when they die. Missiles on fire, exploding fire, singing hot hot hot. Let's get the hell out of here. Go quickly. Must loot. Guns. Angel, you and I are gonna have a serious talk. Ah, handsome Jack is pissed. No, they never had that talk, by the way. No, they do. And I'm sure, uh, I'm sure handsome Jack made himself very clear. So we're back at Sanctuary. Nothing has changed, except a, a lot more missions are available. The center, uh, monument has collapsed. And, uh, you also cannot, uh, you also cannot go directly to the Three Horns Divide from here, because we are not at Three Horns Divide anymore, we are, we are in the sky. Also, apparently we have to rediscover location. Hey, Dennis. You ever notice that, uh, that the, uh... <laughs> How did an insane introvert with Asperger's managed to survive in for... In a fit of extreme paranoia, I hid my notes on the open What an oddly vault. specific choice for a developmental locations. disability. I grind my but we love Tannis. In frustration, you will retrieve these journals for me. So, uh, I was going to mention that uh, like a majority of the uh, of the lockers and the washing machines actually actually refresh pretty much each time you enter and exit uh, the uh, Crim Crimson Raiders headquarters. <laughs> You can get a couple hundred. You can get a couple hundred uh, uh, bucks pretty easily that way on repeat. So, on that note, I think because I have observed this happen too, just like in the field, that the game will like re <laughs> they'll re-equip the item containers occasionally. Got any bright ideas to blast sanctuary out of I think it's on a 24-hour cycle, as in a 24-hour in-game cycle, as opposed to a 24-hour system cycle. Waste another few billion dollars launching mortars at us? Be my guest. Well done. Was, um, was any of that true? What? Hell no. It's a miracle I didn't phase us into a mountain. I like that. Oh, good. Yes. You're not dead. That I was standing amazing. here the whole time, wow, you badass. bastard. You're and we can finally equip four guns at a time. Right. Yay! We'd all be dead if it weren't for you. But we need a plan. Jack's getting closer and closer to digging up the warrior, and we still don't know where he's got the vault key stashed. I can help you with that. Hi, Angel. You? Damn it, we told you never to contact us again. Will you please just hear me out? Sure, let's listen to the crazy computer that just tried to kill us. Hey, remember that time she told us the vault and was, it was not. <laughs> well, it was. No, no, it was. I mean, we didn't get to loot any of it because we, because, because we jumped a, into a cutscene after we killed the warrior, but... You know, the warrior had loot on it. It did. You can even collect this loot while the handsome Jack is dying. If you find me, you find the vault key. The vault key is housed in my AI control core atop Thousand Cuts. It's protected by three impassable security hurdles. And now the Ocean's the Eleven portion of Borderlands 2. Any Which I actually enjoy. <laughs> Although, well, not the second part. The first and third parts of this are actually pretty nice, though. <laughs> so, yeah. A death wall. Beyond that lies the second hurdle. A defense bunker outfitted with the most high-tech weaponry Hyperion can afford. That doesn't sound good. Past the bunker, you'll have to get through the final hurdle. A door that will only open for Handsome Jack. Well, that sounds even worse. It means we're this gonna have to steal him. Opportunity to steal the vault key and stop Jack from controlling the warrior. Thankfully, we live in we we live in a post uh, future tech society, so stealing him is significantly easier than it sounds like. How's that supposed to mean? If she was luring us into a trap, she would have made it sound a little bit possible. If we're taking that bitch down, I'm coming. Trap or not. 
Oh, poor Lilith. If anyone's gonna shut her down, it has to be you. Soldier. Yes, me. He's it's supposed to be looking at you th for that, but you were a bit I too far to his left. And in the next part, we are going to confuse the AI player interface even more while staring at a vault. Because that is what we do best.